Hello everyone, welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on YouTube.com slash WrestleGamer and FXTV. Sorry for the absence of the past week, guys and gals. Um, let's just say a little bit of a bug was passing through this house and uh, no one was really up to doing anything while that thing was passing through. So I do apologize for that, but as you can see, uh, it didn't get me too much, but I have to kind of, you know, worry about the folks and make sure that they were okay so I do apologize for that but the first video this week I'm coming at you with a DVD review of Triple H Thy Kingdom Come and I heard a lot about how great the documentary is and it is a really good documentary um, I was really taken aback with, with a lot of the stuff that they uh, you know from what you can ascertain from the documentary that the moniker the game isn't just a moniker for to describe Paul Levesque it's actually very very accurate because of the uh, the history that he's had he was just so eager to learn his craft you know, throughout when he was being trained by Killer Kowalski and then being called up to WCW for, as Terror Rising, and then they changed it to Jean Paul Levesque. They're trying to make him be, be <laughs> excuse me, French. And uh, <laughs> his French accent, I don't know. But uh, then they, they, tra they transitioned to when he started in WWE as Hunter Hearst Helmsley. They do make a lot of. Uh, they do address the whole situation uh, involving, you know, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall's last night in WWE as Diesel and Razor Ramon and, you know, breaking the kayfabe wall as uh, so they baby faces and heels aren't supposed to be, quote, getting along back at that time. And the person who, who uh, got in trouble with that, they, remember, it wasn't Nash, it wasn't Hall, it wasn't Michaels, it was Helmsley. So they shot him back down to the bottom of the totem pole in WWE at that time. Uh, then they started about, talking about the genesis of Degeneration X, which was very interesting. Um, a lot of people think that Triple H, by, quote, banging in the boss's daughter, it got to his position in the WWE like that. And I, I can tell you right now, just from watching this documentary, that is... 100% untrue. He earned his place in there. I mean, a lot of people want to judge him, you know, based on his move set. I mean, why? I mean, people worship Hulk Hogan. What was his move set? Punch, kick, leg drop. Um, it was indeed a very interesting time. You know, they even talk about. You know, his two major quad injuries when, you know, when he tore his quads literally off the bone and, you know, the rehab that he took, the dedication to his rehab to make it back into the business. And it was indeed very indicative of someone who was truly dedicated to the wrestling industry like uh, Paul Levesque was. Um, I got to say... What Triple H has been doing and what has been doing since he became part of the quote office of offices of WWE hasn't been, has been very very unique. I was very surprised to hear a lot. Excuse me. I was very surprised to hear a lot about you know what Triple H has done, especially from guys like Brock Lesnar, The Undertaker, The Rock. Uh, like I say though, I, I do like the uh, the overall design of the DVD. If you guys haven't seen it, I haven't really done DVD unboxings in quite some time here on WGS TV. But you know, here are the DVDs in itself, and I, I gotta say, I, I, I do love the uh, the overall design of it. I, I, I gotta say, the the match selection. I really want to see more. You know, there's only one WCW match. On here from this time as Jean-Paul Levesque and it was against Ricky Steamboat but it was a really good match 
Um, the rest of it has just been his WWE stuff. I mean, on disc one, this is basically from, uh, you know, Hunter Hearst, Helmsley, Dude Love, One Night Only, 1997. Then they went to the Iron Man match for the WWE Championship back in 2000 at Judgment Day. Uh, all the way to Raw of 2009 when he took on Chris Jericho. That was the, uh, the last match they have on here for him. But, uh, yeah, I really want to see more of his stuff. You know, maybe, you know, his debut is terrorizing. I know on the other uh, Triple H DVD, which really isn't a documentary DVD. It's more like a compilation uh, disc set. You know, they have, like, some of his indie matches as terrorizing. But I'm, I, I do like, you know, the, the explanation they came up with. That, you know, uh, they told him to go out there. You know, he's going to be terrorizing. And he wanted two names, and they drew it. A line right down the middle. Your first name is Terror, last name Rising. Terror Rising. And well, it was first going to be Terror Riser, but they changed it to Terror Rising. So, um, and they, they also talk about the, his courtship with Stephanie McMahon and how he took a major risk to his career if, say, that things didn't work out with them, and ultimately they did. So. I gotta say, I was really impressed with what such a good documentary and a good DVD that this was. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 4 out of 5. I really recommend you guys getting this, the documentary in itself. Especially when they start talking about, you know, the huge match from WrestleMania 25, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. The... He was both congratulating them and also giving them the finger, like, oh, we gotta follow this. You know, uh, I thought that was hilarious, uh, to say the least. But overall, great documentary. I highly recommend people see it if you haven't seen it already. So, let's get this Triple H. Thy Kingdom Come gets a 4 out of 5. Well, I want to know now from you guys out there, the viewers and subscribers, your thoughts about Triple H's Thy Kingdom Come DVD set. What do you guys think? What are your overall scores? What are, so what do you guys think? Definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Be sure to put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. And don't forget to please subscribe to YouTube.com slash WrestleGamer and YouTube.com slash ZFXTV Network if you haven't already. So with that being said, I'm the Russell Gamer, Double B, Bully Boudreaux, saying thank you very much for watching.